Welcome to this video, dear viewers. Today, we dive deep into the life and legacy of Leonid Brezhnev, a pivotal figure in Soviet history who played a significant role during the Cold War era. We'll explore his rise to power, his policies, and the impact of his leadership on the Soviet Union and the world. So sit back, relax, and let's delve into the fascinating story of Brezhnev's time as the Soviet Union's General Secretary. Born in 1906, within the folds of modern-day Ukraine's Kamensko, Leonid Ilyich Brezhnev's life was a monumental one. He left a profound mark on Soviet policies, both domestically and internationally, throughout the Cold War era. By the time of his passing in 1982, Brezhnev had held the title of General Secretary of the Soviet Union's Communist Party (CPSU) for nearly two decades. In 1923, Brezhnev joined the Komsomol, a Soviet youth organization, and six years later, embraced membership within the Communist Party. During the 1930s, Brezhnev's roles included political commissar and party member instructor. In World War II, he served as a Red Army political commissar and rose to the rank of major general. Post-war, Brezhnev swiftly advanced within the Soviet political hierarchy. First as Moldavia's secretary, 1950 to 1953, then as a CPSU Central Committee member. His ascent continued in 1957 when he joined the Politburo, the highest echelon of decision-making within the Communist Party. Here Brezhnev developed a close association with then-Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev. However, Khrushchev's increasingly erratic leadership eventually led Brezhnev and his allies to conspire against him. October 1964 saw the successful ousting of Khrushchev and the appointment of Brezhnev as the Soviet Union's most powerful figure, the CPSU General Secretary. The early years of Brezhnev's reign heralded economic growth and a burgeoning Soviet presence on the global stage. He presided over infrastructure projects such as the Bakel Amur Mainline Railway and propelled the Soviet space program. Strategic nuclear weapon parity with the US expanded influence in Eastern Europe, Africa, and Latin America. All these feats occurred under Brezhnev's watchful eye. Seeking detent with the West, Brezhnev's foreign policy aimed to ease tensions between the superpowers. The 1970s bore witness to the signing of the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks SALT, agreements, reducing nuclear war risks. Yet Brezhnev's doctrine, asserting the Soviet Union's right to meddle in other socialist nations' affairs, led to the 1968 invasion of Czechoslovakia and Afghanistan's invasion in 1979 tarnishing the Soviet Union's international reputation. As time went on, economic stagnation pervaded the Soviet Union, marking the era of stagnation. Corruption grew rampant, and the Soviet Union's technological and industrial base fell behind the West. Brezhnev's health faltered in the 1970s, and he became increasingly disengaged from daily governance. By his death in 1982, the Soviet Union was in a state of crisis, politically and economically. Brezhnev's legacy is a contentious one. Some laud him for maintaining the Soviet Union's superpower status and fostering detente with the West. Others argue that his rule birthed economic stagnation, corruption, and ultimately, the Soviet Union's collapse. Regardless, Leonid Brezhnev's place in Soviet history and his role in the Cold War era remain undeniably significant. And that wraps up our exploration of Leonid Brezhnev's life and leadership. We've seen his rise to power the major events that took place under his watch, and the controversial legacy he left behind. It's clear that his influence on Soviet history and the global landscape of the Cold War era was profound. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more engaging content like this. Until next time, take care, and see you in the next video.